Do you want your organic search traffic to look like true hockey stick growth? Besides having a strong content and SEO strategy, you will need to write a lot. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can use Text Cortex together with our content brief to get 70% of your legwork done in creating content, such as blog posts, for example. Basically, get as much done as seven people with a team of two. My name is Dominic. I'm one of the co-founders of Text Cortex, one of the top 200 early stage AI companies here in Europe. We are building your next level artificial co-creator all around improving your writing and your communication. So let me jump on my screen. In what you can see now is a Text Cortex content brief with a notion. We also have it for Google Docs. If you would like it, just leave us a comment down below. Um, why you should use a content brief because it aligns your content team on you know what is the base information the important information which needs to be within your blog post uh, that becomes really important if you want to scale the whole operation um, what you can see in the beginning very easy the topic we want to write about what is our target word count the focus keyword you should always focus on really one keyword uh, also important because this you should always include in the slug of the domain what i also highly recommend you i didn't have done it now for the topic but always look for the top five competitive articles get some inspiration from them and take it take it as part of your research uh, which you later add after you've written the first draft with an ai writer such as ours you add your research within that into the best place as applicable. To keep this video a little bit slimmer, I've prepared a few things already. For example, the title, actually, I came up with that. Uh, but the outline you can see here was created by Text Cortex. I would actually like to click on our little bubble down here. I don't know whether you actually see it at the moment because Vidyard, our screen recording tool, is laying above it. I would open the sidebar and basically I've created this outline with the block outline template. Mm, but what I want to show you is uh, the introduction uh, and how to write an introduction. For that, we have another template called block intros. I'm simply taking this, adding it here into the title of basically the text box and tell it to create something to tell uh, to start a little thing here it takes a few seconds up until it has finished creating and you can already see uh, I took off the seven in the beginning because then the AI takes that basically and, and starts writing fully into that. But I have my outline here already, uh, but I like this one here as an introduction. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this suggestion here. We'll enter it here, but take off. I mean, it already started writing a lot of it, but I want to show you the process of about how you really make it customized and uh, how you keep it as little as AI created as possible. And if I would like to prolong that introduction a little bit, I would take one of our toolbar features here, for example, the expand function, tell it to make it maybe a medium sized generation. That sounds good. Oh, what you can see here, by the way, is one of the new features we're going to have soon. Um, text to speech, basically, where if you have troubles reading it, you can basically uh, give it out uh, with a nice voice. What I will do now here is I'm going to copy that and add this whole paragraph here. Does that also make sense? What you should do, I, I, I will keep the proofreading now at the minimum, uh, but you should always have a human basically reading over it and finding the red line within the whole story. But with that, we have a nice introduction. And now let me get you the base gist about how you then go deeper into first drafting your whole blog article. Because what we're going to do now, I told you I've prepared this outline here already. I'm going to take this. And by the way, we also have eight points here so i'm actually gonna make the whole title eight advices so um now we get into the important point divide and conquer uh, this is what i tell many of our users when they expect that the ai would write them a perfect blog post of 2000 words right from the get-go if i would tell you hey what is local seo you would struggle a lot writing 2000 words of it same goes for the ai that's why i say divide and conquer a huge a large challenge into smaller problems that means if you want to write 2000 words 
divided by 10 chapters, for example, or as we have it here now in eight chapters and create or write 200 to 300 words for each chapter. Well, it, it will make the whole creation process much, much easier. What I will do now is I take our outline here. Uh, I'm going into that content section. Actually, I don't need the numbers. Because this is now, uh, these are the different chapter headlines. And now what I will show you is how we can use those chapter headlines to create a paragraph around it again. What I will use for that, not the site, but not the creator suit, I will just take our toolbar, uh, the long form post writer. I click it. I click it. I let it create a longer, a longer creation. So we need to wait, usually around five seconds. Let's see how much did it write. Mm -hmm. Actually, that was the introduction I was looking for. But OK, also the chapter title I've uh, ins instructed it with is pretty much another intro again. But I want to show to you how the basic just works. I take this, I copy it in here. So now we have basically the first chapter within it written down. Uh, the benefits of local SEO, uh, I'm going to Actually, let me, no, I will do that as well. Same story again, long form post in a true long form. I mean, a long form post feature is more or less like creative writing to be, to be fair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Build brand awareness, stand out from competition. Actually, I like what it did here with the listicle. Uh, because we talk about benefits, so another listicle is actually quite nice. So I'm going to copy that again. I'm adding it below. And you get the idea of how you can quickly first draft uh, a blog post. What will be important in the end is that you still read over it. Again, find the red line, add your research you've done before, uh, add some interesting numbers to it, and also fact check. Wherever on what you do, fact check what Text Cortex has written for you. Um, I don't go through all of the points now. What I want to show you is actually that with the uh, content brief and notion, you have the full thing later already being uh, laid out here, um, such that you can quickly copy paste it into your content management system. So I hope this tutorial will hypercharge your creation. You have another topic about AI writing or SEO you'd like me to cover? Let me know in the comments. Also, please follow our channel, like and share our video or comment any unanswered question into the comment section. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.